Hi class, this is Miss Leisure. We're going to be doing interior angles and polygons today. So let's get that worksheet out that I gave you. And you also need your notebook because you're going to be doing some notes in your notebook as well. So get that stuff ready. Here we go. You already know what the sum of the interior angles of a triangles are. Of the angles of any triangle, they are 180 degrees. Um, so this is already known. But just make sure this is really, really important. That's why I put the slide in. All three angles, any triangle, add up to 180 degrees. Here we go. What do you know about the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a nonagon, or a 25-gon? Some of you may be saying, hey, I already know about a quadrilateral. It's 360. Well, why is it 360? If you can answer that, maybe you don't need to go on. But um, I bet most of you need to go on. Here we go. All right, so here's a worksheet. Make sure you've got that out and ready. All right, so interior angles. Interior angles and polygons. So the number of sides in a triangle. So that's what we're first doing right here, is how many sides are in a triangle. There's three. We're going to go on across here. What's the number of triangles in a triangle? One, duh. And what is the sum of the interior angles? We just talked about that. 180 degrees, okay? That's 1 times 180. All right. Sum of quadrilateral. How many sides? Four. Number of triangles. Well, in order to get that, what I want you to do, and I'm right here, drawing, uh, draw the diagonals from one vertex. You have how many here? You have four vertexes, okay? But you only want to pick one of them to draw the diagonals from. So here's our diagonal. There's no other diagonals that can be drawn from this corner. So we have one diagonal, and how many triangles do you see? Two. All right, so now we're going to take and find the sum of the interior angles. You'll, you probably said 360. Well, you're right. It is 360, but how did you get 360? You took the number of triangles, which is 2, times 180. Okay. Well, how about a pentagon? Okay. Pentagon has five sides. If we draw our diagonals from one spot in there, there we go. All right. Then we have three triangles, and three times 180 is 550 degrees total in all of the angles. We add them all up. All right. Now, so I'm going to move this to the next. Oh no no no! Here, let's go. Let's just do it up here, because um, somehow I cut it off. We're going to do the six sides, which is the hexagon. Six sides. How many triangles? So if you draw your angle, your diagonals, you have four triangles. How do you get that four? Oh, six minus two is four. Six sides. Minus 2 every time is giving us the number of triangles. And minus 2 gives us 4 triangles. All right. So 4 times 180 gives us 720. All right. So make sure that's filled out on your paper. I'm going to move over to the next slide here. And I'm going to put that on mine. Okay. So look real quickly at what I've written down here. I have um, the three, the number of sides, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have the number of triangles, 1, 2, 3, and 4. How do you get to these from the number of sides? Well, we just talked about it, subtracting 2. 4 minus 2 gives you 2. 5 sides minus 2 gives you 3 triangles. 6 sides minus 2 gives you 4 triangles. And then over here, we're doing 2 times 180 equals 360. 3, the number of triangles, which was 5 minus 2, times 180 equals 540. And then the same uh, 4 times 180 equals 720. So go ahead, pause this, and go ahead and fill out the next two, and see if you can fill out the last one as well. All right, so you're back. So we have the heptagon, octagon, and then n-gon. n is the number of sides. And for the number of sides, if it's got 7, we're going to do 7 minus 2 to get the number of triangles, which is going to be 5. And we're going to take that 5 times 180 and get 900. All right, how about the 8? 8 minus 2 is 6 triangles. 6 times 180 is 1080. 
And the last but not least, n minus 2. So any number of sides, if you have a 50 on, it's going to be 50 minus 2. You have 48 triangles. If you have 1,250, you're going to have 1,250 minus 2, and that will give you the number of triangles. And then you take that same number of triangles, n minus 2, times 180, and that is our formula for any shape. Okay? So that's a big, very big, important formula. Notice I wrote it in big, bold, red paper. All right, there we go. So let's do some examples. So this, put in your notebook. The next page is for your notes. All right, so here we go. Remember, you can pause this and copy down whenever you need to. Find the sum of all of the interior angles. All right, so A, six sides, so it's a hexagon. All right, so if you're asked to find the sum of the interior angles, we're going to use our formula, n minus 2 times 180. What is n in this problem? n is 6 because there's six sides. 6 minus 2 is 180. So 4 times 180. So 720 degrees is the sum of all of the angles in a regular hexagon. Okay, if you've got any questions, write them down in the margin and come to school with them tomorrow. All right, now we're going to do a regular 52 gone. So what is n? n is 52. And we're going to do 52 minus 2. So 50 triangles times 180 gives us 9,000 degrees. All right, and then the dodecagon. n is 12. 12 minus 2 gives us 10 triangles times 180 is 1,800 degrees. All right, if you've got any questions, be sure to make notes of them. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, find the measure of each interior angles. Okay, oh, I forgot. Here, we got to go make this regular. So each or one or an interior angles. Make sure you're aware of all the different words that you could have. All right, and this is regular. So when it's regular, that means it has the same number of sides as it has, not the same number, sorry, that all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent, okay? All right, so how many sides do we have here? Eight, good, it's an octagon. Eight sides. And we're going to use our formula, n minus 2 times 180. So s is 8. 8 minus 2 times 180 gives us 1080. Okay? So that's the sum of all of the interior angles. But I only want one. So I have to spread that out to all of the angles. So to spread it out or divide it equally to all the angles, I have to divide it by the number of angles. And there's 8 angles. So I'm going to take 1080 and divide it by 8 to get one angle of 35 degrees. So each angle of this regular octagon measures 135 degrees. Okay? All right, now, regular 32 gone. If you want to try it by yourself, pause it and do it. Okay. Oh, yes, I did make a note up here at the top. Up here at the top, I made a note that one angle is equal to the sum of the sides of the angles, the sum of all the angles divided by the number of sides, okay? So those are two very, very important formulas, okay? So the sum of the angles of a 38 gone, 38 minus 2 is 180, and you get 36 equals 180. So you end up with a total of um, 6,480 degrees. So now we want to spread that out to all 38 angles. So we're going to divide by 38. And that gave us approximately 170.53, 170 1753 hundredths degrees for each angle. Okay? Okay, try the last one on your own. Pause it. All right, thanks for coming back to me. So we got S of 5 is equal to 5 minus 2 times 180. 
So that gives us the 540. We take 540, spread it to all five angles. We get 108 degrees for each. But you say, Miss Leisure, what if all the angles aren't the same? What if it's not a regular shape? Well, how about this one? Okay, make sure you copy all your examples down. You can always come back later. In example three, we have five different angles, five different sides. Okay, so we got to do some thinking here. We know the sum of the interior angles. We know how to do that. So first, let's do that. Okay, so n is 5, so we're going to do 5 minus 2 times 180, and we get 540. Okay, so we know the sum of all of them have to be 540. Well, what does the word sum mean? The sum of your groceries, you add all the groceries together. So the sum of all the angles, well, why can't I just add all these angles together? I sure can. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, and both of these things have to be equal to the same thing. They're both the sum of a five-sided shape, the sum of the angles of a five-sided shape. So we're going to take both of those and set them equal. So 540 equals x plus 377. So subtract, you get 163 equals x. Okay, next one, moving on. Again, we got them all different again, so we're going to do the same thing. So if you can pause it, try it on your own, and then come back. N equals 7. So 7 minus 2 is 180, and that gives us 900 degrees for all of them. We're going to add all our angles up. We're going to clean it up a little bit, so we get 690 equals 2x. Now we're going to set both of those equal to each other. So 900 equals 690 plus 2x. Subtract the 9, 690, divide by the 2, and we got 105. And then I jumped over here, sorry I didn't pause it, and I substituted in. The 105 plus 11 gives me 116, and this angle up here, the missing angle, is just plain old 105. Okay? Questions, guys? Make sure you're making your notes. Last but not least problem. If each angle measures 144 degrees, how many sides does a regular polygon have? So this is a little more complicated. So we know that one angle is equal to 144. And in the last two slides, or actually three slides ago, I think it was example two, we found that one angle was equal to the sum of the angles divided by the number of sides. Okay, now we know one angle is 144, so substitute that in place of the one angle. So we're putting the 144 in place of what one angle measures. Okay, now the sum of the interior angles, you know the formula for that. So we're going to take that formula and we're going to plug it back in up top right here. Okay. And, and then we're going to take that lovely little end down on the bottom, and we're going to shove it down on the end just like we've been doing. So all I've done is replace the one angle with 144, the sum of the interior angles with the formula, and then put the end back down on the bottom. Okay? So we are going to write this as a proportion. So I put the 144 over 1, and then we're going to cross multiply. So, when, well, actually, okay, sorry. I cleaned up this a little bit here. Where's my arrow? There it is. I cleaned this up by distributing the 188 to both of these. So that's where the 180 in minus 360 comes from. Okay. And then I cross multiply. I took the 144 times the n and the 1 times the 180 in minus 360. I moved, this is where it gets a little confusing, I moved the 180 in, I subtracted it on both sides, and that gave me the 30, negative 36 in, then I divided both sides by negative 36 in and got n equals 10. So how many sides does this shape have? A regular decagon, because it has 10 sides, has a measure of 144 degrees. For each angle. Okay? Any questions, guys? So here's a nice little quote. Math is sometimes called 
the pattern, the science of patterns. Thank you for visiting the Leisure Math channel. Have a great day, guys.